I can tell when I'm off target. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Strike Man laser system. I've been using this a lot lately, primarily due to the ammo shortage, and for that reason, laser systems and handguns have become very popular and I wanted to come back and talk about it because I did take it outdoors I recorded it and I had a good time with it now I've been using it a lot lately primarily for sighting in red dots I like that because once this is seated in the chamber it's pretty true and I've saved a lot of time and money by doing this prior to hitting the range you may fine-tune it at the range this will not replace live firing not even close, but it will give you an impact as to where you are hitting. And if you have multiple handguns that do impact differently, this will give you an idea prior to going so that, you know, you'll be on target, hopefully, when you get to the range. This has a rubber piece here and a rubber piece here. It sits in nice and flush, won't damage the firearm at all. And when the striker or the hammer hits that piece right there, it will... It'll set it off and tell you where you're hitting. I also like it to practice draw and shoot as well as offhand shooting and one-handed shooting and a whole bunch of applications that I find this pretty important in, as far as my trigger time goes. So we're not getting the trigger time that we used to get, but we can do the best we can given the situation with a laser sight. And that's why I'm coming around and making this video. I showed this before. And I was in my living room, and I did okay with it. I wasn't too far back, but this time I'm in my backyard, backing up a little bit and seeing how well I do. And I also like it, I already mentioned for red dots, but I cannot explain how much that helps fine-tuning. Well, not fine-tuning, but helping with the sighting in process that will save you a lot of time and money. So let's go ahead and check out some of that shooting and... We'll talk more about it. I'm going to take a quick 10 shots with the Taurus G3 Toro. The Toro model is optic ready. I've got a Vortex Viper on here. Probably 9 yards back. Let's see how I do. Okay. All those were in double action. I could have racked the slide back each time with a shorter and lighter trigger pull, but I went with that double action so I could do it one after another. Let's see what the camera picked up. All right, so this is where the majority of the shots hit. I'm, I'm okay with that, and my average rating was 8. If you look at the target itself, 8 is that circle right there, probably 2 inches, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm happy, and now I know that the optic is sighted in properly. Strike Man includes this base that will hold the phone that is to be placed 2 feet away from your target that they also include. But they upgraded the app, so here you'll hit start, agree to the terms, and you'll first choose the distance you're going to be shooting from. I chose 0 to 20 yards. You apply that. Indoors or outdoors. I went outdoors. You can go the number of shots or time. I went number of shots. Kept it at 10. You can do multiple sessions. You can enable that with this area or disable that. And that's what I did. At this point, you will move the target. or I'm sorry. You will calibrate it so that... It will center in on the target so it knows what it's hitting and when. And then you press start. It does give you audio feedback as to where on the target you hit. And it'll even give you a little gunshot noise once it senses that a shot has been fired. Here we have the Breda 92X Performance Model. I'm going to continue shooting in double action. This time I'm going to extend my arms each time, making it a little bit more challenging for me. It's getting pretty dark out here, so let's see how I do. I can tell when I'm off target. Those are pretty good. That one was outside the gray. So was that. That looked good. I think that's 10. 
All right. So there's no question that that was more challenging. Of course, it should be. You know, when you go to an indoor range, most people stand there like this and just fire one after another. Of course, they're dealing with, with recoil. But extending your arms each time creates a little bit more of a challenging shooting stage. And that's good. That's what you want, especially because you're not burning up ammo. Let's go take a look and see how I did. There's where my shots landed. Mostly in the gray circle, some outside of the gray, three, three misses outside the gray circle, but my average score was six. So that circle is probably six inches wide. So I'm, I'm okay with that too. You know, each of those shots would be combat effective, all things considered. Here is the target on the stand. I want to give you an idea of what the gray dimensions are. When I was out there, I said that the gray was about six inches. It's actually four and a half inches around. And then the number eight is two and a half inches. So it is a fairly small target. So anywhere in that gray area, I think is a good shot. Definitely combat effective. You know, even, even from close up, you hit right in this little bit of an area, you're doing okay. And so with practice, you could do that. I've been practicing with this but even backing up a little bit which is what I did next it was getting dark and and when it was getting dark the camera wasn't picking up the laser as well as it should have All right it was it was just blotching it on camera I was a little disappointed in that but knowing that it gives you an idea of where I was hitting and plus I was getting the audio feedback that you can kind of hear in the video so let's go ahead and check that out here we are closer to 20 yards away, maybe just a little shy. Back with the Taurus G3 Toro with the Vortex Viper. Let's see how I do from this range. All double action. All right, that felt good, <laughs> but I'm not sure, I'm hoping all those hit in the gray. It certainly felt that way. And that double action pull, see the, see if that'll show up there. You can see that. <laughs> Let's go take a look. There's where my shots hit. A Little bit to the left, one outside of the circle that I could see, yeah, just one. And my average score was six. But that that's not too bad considering the circle's rather small. I had the lights dialed down a bit just to give you an idea of what you're looking at, it's it's pretty consistent. Now, this is not a substitute. Oh, whoa, that kind of <laughs> messed with the camera a little bit. This is not a substitute to live firing. I cannot emphasize that enough, but given that there is a shortage in ammo, and even when there's not, sighting in, getting prepared prior to going to the range is a good idea. I've definitely been doing it, and this will help get you there. It will get you some trigger time, without the recoil and everything else but it will tell you where your shots are impacting and that is the main reason why i like this system in particular it fits really nice and it seems to be very true to the actual impact of the shots and that's really what i enjoy if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe